Well, hello! Here is a new game. It just came out and I'm super hyped about this. Because I really love the series, the books that is. And if you haven't read them, you should go and find them. Because it's awesome. It's just perfect. Now, there is one problem with this game. Uh, let me show you. These are all the settings that are available. I don't really like that. I mean, fine for this game, it's fine that there isn't much um, in the way of video settings. You can change most of the uh, audio pretty well, except for that it jumps by 20 for some reason. But the thing about this is, you cannot change the key bindings. I don't find it anywhere so it's gonna be pretty hard I normally change uh, stuff so that my fingers fit perfectly but yeah we will see what happens and it won't be so bad I guess let's see man <laughs> it's so awesome that it came out. to protect Gardle guard Against orcs, ogres, and all the other beasts of Teon. We are the guardians of Gurdlegard. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. <laughs> awesome. Now I have played a tutorial to, t uh, to see if the game works. Uh, it looks very nice, you know. Looks really nice. The loading times are pretty long actually, I don't know why that is, that could be my PC. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. So, you can pause the game as much as you like and right. you have abilities. But see, that is the problem, all the abilities are on keys. And I would like to change them. But that's fine. I will do it like this. So, jump down! Understood. Fight for the mighty dwarves. Come here, you! Or <laughs> fracas! Charge! Okay. Jump! Oh yeah! <laughs> that just feels so nice. Jumping like that. Uh, let's charge. Come here, you. Get behind our men a bit. We don't want to get too much damage. Come here, you. First, uh, well, we don't want to die in the tutorial now, do we? Damn. Uh, no oh, right I don't now. have any. All right. Yeah, action points. Right. Let's charge to the other side. <laughs> oh, I hit the wall. Oh right. crap, that's something I gotta look out for. Charge. And apparently, I tested it out, and you see that bridge? You can throw enemies off of it, but you can throw yourself off of it as that's well. That. And that ah. is kinda Under painful. Ah. <laughs> um, maybe not a good idea to be I'm so far ahead. A present oh. from the workshop! I love this, yeah, that you can uh, spin On the, the camera around though. That's a really nice addition. Understood. Come on. All Come right. on, dwarves, let me through. Yeah, thank you. Get that thing. Ah, I'd be happy to pass on this present to the green skin. Yeah. Ooh, bombs. <laughs> let's throw one. On the way. And let's jump. Just a moment. And charge back. Charge! <laughs> Let's kill them all, shall we? Can I throw another one? Yeah. Come here, you! And apparently everything you do, every area of effect you do, which also this thing, wait I'll show you. Come here, you! This thing also damages your friends. Just like this thing 
also pushes your friends away so I've got to be really careful about this I don't pay attention you know I could be killing my own <laughs> mates can I maybe uh, jump come on we need to get back back in the lines oh we killed them already why are you running, you My cowards? King, what are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Tion for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. <sighs> we are too few. This you know as well as he does, but there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. <laughs> awesome. So now we are with Two. Okay. What? Come Let's get going. What do you have? Oh, awesome, awesome. That Another is one gone. Awesome. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Come here, you. Uh, let's uh, jump actually over there. Understood. There you go. And then, bam. Another one gone. Change to you. And smash into him. <laughs> yeah, that was the heal. What has it? Understood. Nice. All right. Those catapults aren't good. Understood. Could maybe jump over there. What? Come here and die. You are capable. Please throw him away. Oh. Please don't. Please don't fall off yourself. You can throw others off that Okay, almost there. Um, okay, let's go. In. Let's keep going. Yes, yes, yes. Throw them away. Come here and die. Come here, you. And the game. What? Man. For fracas! I just love how they look. Though. Love how the orcs look as well. Really well done. Uh, let's jump over there. And you will attack. Oh, here he goes. Heal, please. What is it? He cannot. Yeah, he can. Okay. On my way! Heal again. Push yourself you. closer and closer. Yes. Come here the rest of the party. That? Yeah. What is it? Another ah. one gone. <laughs> and again. Heal him. Oh, perfect. You. With you. Charge. That's yes. That? Let's yes. get them. Ah. Go on, stay away from this. We need to get there. Will that? No, that will hurt my own man. Oh, that was. Oh, <laughs> I hit him in the back. These are the ones who attacked That's okay, us in the I tunnels. Guess. We suffered great losses beating them back. Come here, and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf! In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Sitalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the Shadow Mare just grins down, mockingly. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the elves. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us. 
But perhaps one of your kind. This cannot be. Silence, you fool! Vrakas, forgive me for what I am about to do. Quickly! In formation! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> What is it? Okay, let's uh So first of all bam. And Second again. of all, do that. Maybe Understood. we can push some off actually. Alright! Uh, not like possible this. right now! Nope. None of them pushed off. On the way! Never mind. <laughs> nice try though, nice try. Charge! It's not going to be surrounded though. Alright! Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Alright! Maybe I can do this. Understood! Oh, that killed a lot of Can I change the length? No, I, I guess not. I can do like this. On the way! Come here, you! Like, this. And again! Charge! <laughs> yeah, that's it, I think. Oh, that. Mm, okay. Done already, huh? There goes the king. Look at me. I am Syntharas, the reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears. And let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Brakas. No. Your soul now belongs to the land. And henceforth you will belong to it forever. Now die. And return. Then hand us Girdle Guard. So that was a tutorial. <laughs> Not that much of a tutorial though. It's just the intro more than anything. You're a perfectionist, Tongue Del Bolivar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metalwork of a dwarf, what can you rely on? Oh. Aha, darkness. <laughs> so nice that you can spin around. Even go on top. Huh. Can't zoom further in though. Can zoom out. That is nice. Yeah, okay. So what, what can, can I, I do, do for you? you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. In your mind, you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. Apart from a few little squabbles with his famuli, nothing worth mentioning happened since the incident with your beard. You nod. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic reprimanding scowl. <laughs> Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were teething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Prala smiles. She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago. But I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the Dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. I'd better not keep the Magus waiting. See you later. There's goulash for dinner. Hmm. 
Look at the gate. What is it? There are apparently dwarves who have never seen the sky. And you too oh. feel more comfortable when you have rock over your head. If only you didn't long to see more of the world, a longing that grows stronger with every year. <laughs> well, um, I am not gonna click on everything because a lot of it is actually the backstory and uh, the, the books itself. And it's gonna be a very long video when uh, I click on every single thing. But I knew that there was an X. Because <laughs> this is the moment uh, up until I played to test if it worked. Uh, so let's let's find out what's. Uh, hey, groundling! Oh. Come to the kitchen. We need you. Jollison, a fourth-degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic, gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. Hmm. Hmm. So. This goes up. This is the outside, I guess. Yeah. Don't think I need to go there right now. That is uh, Lotionon. Look at the stairs. Look at the family. Of the 200 or so people family? selected to learn the art of magic under Lotionon, there's barely a handful of them you can stand the sight of. You're not at all interested in magic in all its elusiveness and whimsy. Your realm is the forge. Of course, because I am a dwarf. What else would I be interested in? Tandil! Quick! Or the golash will get burnt! You immediately recognize what the problem is. <laughs> a chain running over a pulley for positioning the cauldron is detached from its mounting and the cauldron stuck in the fireplace. It's a heavy load, and none of the famuli, who feel superior even during kitchen duty, dare do anything. They might burn their fingers, or even get a bit dirty. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get dirty now, would we? It'd be a waste of goulash, and I'm hungry. Here, hold Wait, this. the pot say it? <laughs> Did the pot say it? Do you remember when you dyed my beard with some magic spell? I had to shave it off. You stroke your beard, which is unusually short for a dwarf. Damn it! Ah, oh, it's heavy! The young human forces through his pursed lips, letting the pot sink a little. Don't you dare ruin my goulash, boy! The cook with beefy forearms glares at the young man, and after a brief moment, he tries harder. <laughs> Well, I could let him sit like that for a while, or I could just repair it. Well, With as much concern in your voice as you can muster, you say, Oh, no, no, this doesn't look good. You're pleased to notice he's dripping with sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you back for this, groundling! Hmm, that's not good. Let's just repair it, uh-huh. You damned freak! For a moment, you hope the Famulus really does raise his hand to you. But then he comes to his senses and leaves the kitchen, his face bright red. What a pair you are! <laughs> <coughs> 50 XP earned. Ah, nice. Look at the dinner. The goulash is bubbling in the cauldron. You draw the warm air in through your nose, and the smell makes your mouth start watering. Ooh, that's nice. That sounds uh, very good. That sounds like great goulash. Can I talk to you? Do you know what Lord Yonan wants? The maid gives you an amused look. She has often accused you of making things more complicated than necessary. Hmm. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Let's just go to Lot Ionan. The great and mighty wizard.
switching heroes regularly. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. Master Lot Yonan, Frala told me you wished to speak with me. Ah, Tungil, come in. Uh, there is a bag over there in the cupboard. Take it out, please. It contains artifacts belonging to my former Famulus Goren. I wish to return them to him. He's in Black Saddle, 300 miles away. 300 miles? That's a long journey. Who are you going to entrust with this? I was thinking of you. Me? There is no one better to take on this journey. You have acquired much knowledge. You are almost a scholar. You know more than most Famuli about Girdlegard and its inhabitants. It is time for you to go out into the world and see it with your own eyes. <laughs> I... with pleasure. Hmm. Perhaps I'll meet some dwarves on my travels. Yes, perhaps. But don't hold out too much hope. And be careful who you talk to. Not everyone out there likes dwarves. Yeah, goblins. They abduct baby dwarves and sell them to Magi, from what I've heard. Not the best bit of business <laughs> I've ever done. But what was I to do? The long noses threatened to throw you into the nearest river. Ugh. That wouldn't be fun. What's in the bag? Magical devices. Uh, you better leave the bag closed if you want to avoid any accidents. Dwarves don't really like magic, and magic doesn't like you either. Rackus gave us so much craftsmanship that there's no space left in our bodies for magic. Strictly speaking, every time you've been too close to magic, it has ended in catastrophe. <laughs> well, I said off soon, I guess. Be on your guard. Look after the bag and don't lose it. May Palandiel be with you. And Varakas too, of course. I'll set off immediately. I'll see you soon, Lot Yonan. <laughs> awesome. And this is the start of a great story. See you in the next episode. <laughs>